until I'm smoked, I'm rolling up, rolling up. Smoke until I can't breathe anymore. Hit my nigga, ask me, can me bring me more? You can't smoke. Who you trying to play? Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blunt Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my afternoon spliffs. You know we about to do Bird Club. About to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory involves the Freemasons. So, ladies and gentlemen, grab your tin for you hats, pack a bowl of skepticism, and get ready for a wild ride down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. We're diving into one of history's best kept secrets. No, not does Bigfoot like pineapples on pizza? Rather. Did the Freemasons secretly cultivate cannabis to achieve spiritual enlightenment? Picture this. Medieval Europe, where people believed bathing was a yearly event and that dragons were just really shy. Somewhere in Paris, somewhere in this mix, a bunch of mysterious folks in aprons. Yes, aprons. Were supposedly growing secret cannabis strains and using them to get their minds higher than a kite on a windy day. It's as if they were building castles in the sky with bricks made of dreams and cannabis clouds. These stone masons, pun intended, weren't just into stacking bricks. They were stacking knowledge, one higher than the last. You see, they weren't just your average craftsmen. These dudes believed in something called divine light, a kind of inner glow that would make a night light jealous. And according to this theory, enlightenment was something you could cultivate literally. The Freemasons found that cannabis could help clear the old nagging like a leaf blower through autumn. Forget meditation mats and chanting. They were using enlightenment kush to unlock the secrets of the universe one puff at a time. Why do you think they were called Freemasons? Because they were freely sharing their stash, of course. Just imagine a medieval meeting where they're all getting together in a dimly lit chamber, passing around cosmic haze and contemplating the mysteries of existence. What is the square root of a square? And why does bread always land butter side down? In fact, you could probably say that their heads were in the clouds while their feet were firmly planted on the ground. Maybe that's why they love to work with stone, because it's so down to earth. The secret meetings, they included some of the finest herbal arrangements, with the only thing more impressive than their masonry skills being their ability to roll the perfect joint. Here's a riddle for you. I am seen by those who know, hidden from those who don't. I am carved in stone, yet not in sight. See me in the compass, light. Who am I? Moving up the ranks in Freemasonry wasn't just a matter of handshake secrets and learning the difference between a trial and a level. As members moved through the Masonic ranks, they supposedly gained access to some of history's most mysterious strains. Think Illuminati Kush and Grandmaster Kush. Strains so secret that not even Snoop Dogg can get his hands on them. And why did they take this so seriously? Because these herbs, according to Masonic legend, unlock the third eye. Just a couple of hits and these medieval brick layers are reaching epiphanies that would make any philosopher green with envy. They believe that cannabis could reveal universal truths like where socks really go and why anyone thought building castles was a good idea without wife. The Masons had a motto, to build is to understand. And let's face it, there's nothing quite like a little herbal in enhancement to spark those aha moments imagine them brainstorming in a smoky lounge saying let's build a pyramid like what if we build it at the center of the earth's gravity that way no one could steal or stash brotherhood was all about elevating the mind while leveling up their skills their creativity was so high that even the birds in the sky were jealous of their soaring ideas they were truly the original architects of enlightenment Here's another riddle for you. To cross my path, you must climb. My secrets kept safe by words and sign. A journey through degrees, three times three. A path of wisdom and secrecy. What am I? As time went on, Masonic cannabis culture was so underground that they practically invented the concept of speakeasy. The Enlightenment movement, the American Revolution, and even Mozart's symphonies have all been attributed to this green enlightenment. Ever wonder why George Washington, a known mason, grew hemp? It wasn't just for rope, folks. Word on the street, or, well, the lodge, was that he used it to write the Constitution while pondering life's big questions, like, do we really need two Carolinas? And who could forget Mozart, the magic flute? It wasn't just a trippy opera, it was a trip. 
period. His melodies practically sing, Do re me, pass the joint to me. That or it's the most subliminal dad joke in classical music history. The Masons, with their love for secrets and even greater love for joint discussions, ensured that their legacy would live on one puff at a time. Their meetings must have been quite the spectacle. A huddle of men in tuxedos and aprons nodding sagely as they discussed the mysteries of the universe while sharing a communal bowl. Talk about a high-minded philosophy. Riddle time. In each hand, two points I hide. From east to west, my arms open wide. I mark the day, the night, the right, the wrong. My shape holds six takes of words, people. My shape holds secrets centuries long. What am I? Now, some say the Freemasons abandoned their cannabis stash after a few hundred years, but others whisper that their underground cultivation is alive and well. Next time you visit a dispensary and a bud tender offers you ancient apron or lodge blend, take a close look at their fingers. Notice any strange rings? You might just have met a modern day Mason carrying on a high flying tradition. These dispensaries might just be the modern lodges of our time, where the secrets of the past blend the knowledge of the present. But let's be honest, if we're talking about Freemasons, their cannabis supply is probably guarded better than the recipe for Coca-Cola. In the end, maybe the world isn't ruled by the Illuminati, the Bilderbergs, or the Bigfoot Council. Perhaps our history was quietly shaped by a group of extremely chill folks in aprons, unwinding over a bowl of knowledge, of course, and unlocking the universe's secret one puff at a time. So next time you take a hit, just remember, you might be tapping into a legacy that's older than dirt and just as green. That's what we call high history. The answers to the riddles. The Freemason square and compass, Masonic lodge, compass, and square symbol. I'll see you on the next one, bruh.